Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you how you can create over a thousand different NFTs um, because they've become quite the craze recently. Um, so I want to ask you, have you ever wondered how these authors make thousands of the same concept but with just slight differences? It's actually through the concept of layers and the technology that mixes and matches the layers. So. For example, I could have a layer for gloves, I could have a layer for a hat, I could have a layer for a shirt, and I could have a layer for pants. And then what the technology does is goes and looks through those different layers and you'd have your own different artwork pieces for each layer. And it would mix, mix and match until it's found the maximum possible different combinations. And then if you have enough pictures inside of the layers, you can get up to over a thousand different NFTs if you have a, a, a perfect amount. So what we want to do today is actually jump into that. So we we'll, might go ahead and jump straight into the technology that we need to get started to do this. So I'll we'll switch to my screen. Now, there are three main things we need to download. The first one is Node.js. Make sure you only download version 16.13. The other one will not work if we continue with that. We then need to download Visual Studio Core Code. And then the last thing is the actual generator that we can get um, from the link in the description down below. I'll paste it down. Now, once we've downloaded all everything, we want to open up Visual Studio and we want to click File, Open Folder, and we want to go to the Generate Art Open Source Main. And you click Select Folder and it brings you to this menu here. So you'll get an input and an output folder. So in the input folder is where we want to put our layers of photos. So for example, this, this one came preloaded with a ball, bottom lid, eye color, iris shine, top lid of the eye for the character. And you can see how everything's trying, is starting to piece together. If I click down one level, we can, def we can then see the rarity of the different pictures that are in this layer. So for example, with ball, we have a white ball that is original. And if we click rare, we, we can do like a, a, a different kind of ball. Um, but the concept is we have many different layers and with pictures in it. And then this generator is gonna take everything together and mash it, pretty much mash it and create a combination of as many as possible you, it can. Now, if you're quite new, if you've never run this before, you will need to enter some commands. The first one you'll need to write is, you click terminal and click new terminal, and then wait for it to load, and then you click npm install. It'll install some Packages, I've already done that, so I won't waste some time. And then the next one you want to do is npm install truffle slash hyphen g. And then the last one is npm install canvas. Cool. And then what you want to do is Theoretically, you'd replace the ball or the bottom lid, the eye color, the iris, the top lid with anything that you want. Um, whatever you're, whatever you're basing your NFT around, and then you'd come into the config.js file, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you'll find something called layers. Now, in the layers, you'd find the, the identical names to the folders on the left. You wanna make sure that you have your new names in there. So for example, if I change shine, if I, if I added a new one called, um, let's say, if we added a new folder called um, hat, like we gave them a hat, 
we'd, we'd, we'd have to give a new layer in here called hat. And there would need to be a corresponding folder in here called hat with like the rarity as well. And then the next important piece of information is on the few lines down below is where you can, can actually set the rarity for for the, the the image. So we can see that the eye color, super rare is set to 50%, rare is set to 25% and original is set to 25%. And then once we're all done with that, um, we right click the index.js uh, open in integrated terminal and all you need to type is node index.js and then press enter and then see it starts making some NFTs uh, by default I've set it to 10 but um, you can go NFT 99999 and click enter and then it'll try and create that by as many uh, and until you get duplicates. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for how to create the NFT. We now can go into the actual output folder and look, we have a bunch of NFTs. They're all there. So you'd get a lot more, but since we defaulted to 10 um, for this educational piece only, um, it's entirely up to you to decide how far you want to go into it and yeah